When I first started skateboarding in Oxford, England, there were not so many skateboarders. There were just a few skateboarders that I grew up with. There was no magazines, no skate shop, and we had no vision of the outside world of skateboarding. So the people who influenced me when I was younger growing up would be the friends that I grew up skateboarding with. Justin Parker, Aaron Chalice, Pete Cruccioli, and Thomas Kilpatrick. Now, I'd say more diverse creative characters such as maybe skateboarders like Quim Cardona or Paolo Diaz or Sean Sheffy or Chad Musker. People that are slightly more interesting, slightly more creative, make it more fun, make it more enjoyable. More original skateboarders, stylish skateboarders, skateboarders that make it fun. Transworld has had a huge influence on skateboarding. A lot of skateboarders worldwide would not have seen these skateboarders or these tricks being done or this advertising or not even know anything about skateboarding if they had not had Transworld in a local 7-Eleven or news agent or wherever it might be. So it has a huge influence. It's one of the biggest skateboard magazines in the world. You can find it anywhere and anyone that sees an issue of Transworld is going to pick it up and be influenced by something in that magazine, whether it be the skateboarding, the artwork, the writing, whatever it might be, you're going to be influenced by something in Transworld. It's influenced, I could pretty much 100% sure say it's influenced every skateboarder in the world, at least every skateboarder that's seen Transworld, that is. On my career, it's helped my career a lot and influenced my career a lot. Obviously, a lot of the products that my sponsors and myself endorse are advertised in there, so it has had a lot to do with helping me sell my products with my name on it, my image that's portrayed through the magazine. They've always made sure I have a good image in there. They've always had good sequences and good photos of me in there. And I think it's helped my, my career a lot. And without Transworld, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. They were one of the first magazines when I went to America back in the day that helped me and had my back and put me in their magazines and in their videos. I also had the cover of Transworld one time. I was very fortunate to have the cover of Transworld. It's a little young child. I was very excited to have my first cover. I was doing a frontside blunt slide down a curved ledge down a set of stairs in Huntington Beach. I'd say the top five most, most influential skateboarders of all time would have to be Rodney Mullin for his incredible list of tricks that he's invented and then I'd have to say Danny Way for the incredible mega ramp skateboarding and the huge air airs he brought to skateboarding and uh, I'd have to say Dae Wong Song for his incredible innovation and his incredible technical ability and his balance with all the incredible manual, manual variations he does. I'd have to go with someone like Chad Musker for the style and the outgoing sort of outlook he had towards skateboarding, the fun and the, the sort of lifestyle and, that came with that. And then, I don't know why I'm going to say Steve Caballero, because he invented the Caballero and that's one of my favourite tricks to do on ramp. So that would be my top five. I consider myself not too much of a showy-offy type of person or not too much of a big-headed person and I don't want to stand here blowing my own horn as they say but if anything I'd like to say maybe I could go with that too maybe I've been bring humbleness to skateboarding maybe that not so showy offy type attitude maybe just some nice tricks with a nice style maybe bring a little bit of fun and enjoyment to skateboarding too maybe bring a sort of easy, enjoy, sort of fun feeling to skateboarding rather than a sort of tense, stressed situation. I'm not sure, I just say uh, I bring fun to skateboarding, a good time to skateboarding and maybe make people realise that they don't have to worry or stress about it too much just to relax and have a good time and enjoy themselves on a the skateboard. <laughs> Check it. Uh. I make a million bucks every six months, and y'all hating my game, saying my name.